You ready, Jay? Okay. So hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Make a Match with CW. I'm really happy to have all of you here. This will be two rounds of questions and then the final conclusion to this game. We'll get closer to understanding the compatibility from our contestant to his daters uh, based on their responses. At the end of the second and the final round, we will have a poll um, to the viewers to get their choice as well. But ultimately, it is my role to make the perfect match. And can I, can I do that? Well, we'll see. As a featured show, please, please refrain from using uh, vulgarity. Please, um, negative comments. And also, that applies if you're a viewer or a contestant of the show. Anyone who is in the box or myself, we are unable to focus our attention uh, on comments, questions, or thank you for the gifts that are received. If you want to participate in a future show, I ask that you please favorite me through my Instagram in my profile for scheduling. This is a weekly featured show every Sunday starting at 5 p.m. And lastly, please favorite the top three gifters of the stream as well as our game participants, including myself, and show them your support. So now we're going to get to know our contestants. And um, at this point in time, I call Rucker to to this to 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 the front. So here comes Rucker. Hey, Hello. You're right. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Okay. So now we're going to get your three lovely women in. All right. You are one lucky man. Yeah, yeah. Three beautiful women coming forward. Toxic, uh, J Bomb, and Jeep Girl. Sounds gonna like be trouble. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> a little toxic. Hi, everyone. Oh, Jer New York Rocker, you are in trouble. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. J Bomb. Hi, J Bomb. It's good to see you again. Oh, he's got some beauties in the box. Right. I know. You guys are all I'm beautiful women. People. Okay. Jeep girl. Um, there we go. There she is. Hey. How's it going? Well, I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. I'm hearing some feedback. Though. Hearing a little, are you guys hearing the feedback? Is it mine? Yeah. I is it me? So. Is it me? I think it is you. Okay, let me go out and come back in again. Okay. Um, why don't you guys? No, it's not her. It's someone else. Is it mine? Well, um, I don't hear it anymore. I, I you don't? Okay, I thought I heard it for a second, but okay, let's try again. It wasn't even feedback. It sounded like um, like a muffled phone or something. Right. It could just be from Bluetooth if the Bluetooth is on. Sometimes that happens. Is your Bluetooth Better? on? Okay. Yeah, started, right? Okay, we're good. Um, all right. So we're going to start off with um, the the first thing is our introduction. So each of you will have a minute. I got it. I started to put it on a timer just so to make sure about our timing. So each of you have a minute to just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Okay. So we'll start with rocker and then we'll work our way through j bomb jeep girl and toxic okay am i good to start yeah you're All good right. to go timer. so my my real name is scott and i don't really care i don't have to hide it i'm 54 i live in new jersey i'm a computer programmer i live by myself with my two dogs I uh, don't really have any family left, so I know family questions are big, but just me and my mom left, and that's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. j -Bum. Hello, everybody. I'm 38. I reside in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, I'm just a fun-loving country girl. I like to live my life um, in the fast lane. <laughs> I definitely like to um, fly by the seat of my pants. 
Um, I've been a flight attendant for 11 years. Aviation is my true passion in life. Uh, but when I'm not working, you can find me at the lake with my dog and basically fishing and having fun. Definitely a country girl. And yeah, I'm just here to uh, hopefully, you know, have some fun. Excellent. Thank you so much. Jeep girl. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Jeep, but you can... You can just call me Mrs. Rocker, New Jersey, from here on out. Like, we're good. <laughs> um, age is nothing to me, so we don't need to talk about that. I have been a hunter for, we'll say, like 15 years, as in, like, hunting for my husband. But that's over. He's right above me. Hey, baby. <laughs> I don't really like to be woken up unless it's, like, with chocolate milk, bacon, and Italian sausage. You're Italian, right? No. As one meal. All right. That's awesome. Okay, Toxic. I talked to Candy. I've been on this uh, streaming app for a streamer about a year and a half. Age does not matter because I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest on the app. A <laughs> um, little about myself. I love music. I love um, 80s music. I have way too many shoes. And just be warned, Rocker, because my cuddle level requires a paid subscription, okay? So uh -oh. that's how much I like to cuddle. And I'm not like any other woman that you know. I know what I want for dinner, and I've been thinking about you since lunch. Oh, oh my. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is going to be very interesting. All right, for those of you who just walked in, welcome to Plenty of Fishes Make a Match. I'm your host, CW. There are going to be two rounds of questions that are going to be asked in this game. And at the end, it is my, my role to make the final decision of who is most compatible with Rucker and Jay. So if you would like to be a contestant in this show, please favorite me under, actually add my Instagram and my profile and send me a message and I'd be happy to add you to the show in the coming seconds. It's held every Sunday from 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And lastly, please do favorite the gifters and also our game participants and show them your support. Um, the other quick thing I would like to add is just make sure that your comments uh, refrain from negative comments as a viewer or as a participant of the show. Um, and please, no profanity. So we'll go ahead and move forward with our first question. You will have, uh, each of you will have a minute to answer it. And Scott will start. All right. And so, I say good luck. All right. So the first question, what is your idea of a romantic first date? Okay, and we'll we'll go again to from le from my left to my right. I see J bomb, uh, Jeep girl, and toxic. Okay, so my idea of a romantic date would be something definitely low key, maybe like a walk on around, around the water, um, grab coffees, and really just get to talk and get to know each other. Very nice. Yeah. Alrighty. A romantic date for me would be. Definitely lots of communicating chit chat, lots of body language, which would lend lead to like some knocking boots. <laughs> what did you just say? Body language with what? <laughs> which leads to knocking boots. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. Okay. Obviously, hold on. Obviously, that would be the first date. That's like a couple dates in, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm making work for it. <laughs> okay. Um, first date, you know what? Manners is really big for me. So first date, I mean, um, you're maybe not picking me up at my house because I may not want you to know where I live quite yet. <laughs> but definitely um, manners speaks volumes. So I'm going to say like a drink or a coffee. Um, yeah, and just be polite. And that's, that's romantic to me. Like, just show your traditional manners because I love that. And I think it's lacking um, in today's world. Very, very true. 
True. So I now, Rucker, I, agree with I would like to hear your answer to that question. What is your, what is your, what do, what do you like on a first date? What would you do on a first date? Um, I, I like to do like multiple things, like you know, go go from point A to point B to point C. Um, there's kind of like a, a psychology to it that it's, it it feels like you you've been on a few dates, even though it may be your first date. Um, I like to go, you know, like out to dinner, maybe uh, Little Italy in in New York City. Um, we have a a lot of good parks. We have, we have some nice lakes. Um, and then follow that up with uh, like a live band uh, lakeside. We have a lot of lake, lakeside bars by me. Excellent, excellent. All right, so now- so yeah, um, Not one we'll stop, get... I, I like to, few things. Okay, excellent. All right, so now we'll get to the, to the daters and each of them will take this moment to ask a question. So J-Bomb, uh, uh -oh. what is your question? What is one quality that you wouldn't be willing to um, look past? Like, what is something that somebody, like, what is something you wouldn't be willing to look past? You know what I mean? Jealousy. Yeah, deal breaker. Yeah, what's a deal breaker? Okay. Yeah, it's, that's, that, that's a big one. And it's, you know, we've all come across it. And at some point, you're just like, ah, that's, that's the big one. Okay, uh, Chief Girl. Okay, Rocker. So once we get married, you have a long day at work. When you come home, do you want me like in the kitchen getting ready to like make reservations or do you want me like up in the bedroom with your dessert like ready to go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I work above. from home. <laughs> I don't, I don't have long days at work. I'm six, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And, and I'm free to do whatever. So I think I would like to find you in the pool. Yes, <laughs> in the hot tub. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. There. That, Let me go get my that would be a good way to finish out the day. All right, toxic. Okay, rocker. If you could magically turn into the opposite sex, what would you look like and what would your name be? <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought that was going to go somewhere else and it would have been <laughs> violating the don't be, don't be naughty rules. Uh, what would my name I look like? Well, I would definitely have to be like as attractive as you three. Um, I'll take, uh, you know, maybe five, six, blonde, blue eyes. And what would my name be? My name would be Umfufu. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, nope, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> All right. So I just want to just uh... I, see, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I just want to give a, just a quick plug about the show. Everyone who's here, welcome to Plenty of Fishes Make a Match. I'm your host, Miss CW. There are two rounds of questions. We're just working through round one. And we're going to get uh, closer to understanding the compatibility between our contestant and his daters based on their responses. At the end of, uh, at the, end of the second and the final rounds, I will poll the viewers to get their opinion as well. And ultimately, it's my, my job to see if I can make the perfect match. And can I do that? As a featured show, please refrain from using profanity, any negative comments as a viewer or a contestant. Anyone who is in the box or myself, we're unable to focus our attention on the comments, questions, or thank you for gifts that are receiving during this broadcast. But certainly, if you'd like to participate in the future show, please message me via my Instagram, which is located on my profile. I would love to hear from you. Okay. And lastly, please favorite the top three gifters and the game participants themselves, including myself, and show them some of your support. Okay, so that was the end of round one. And let me tell you one thing, this is very tough. This is very tough. 
because Rucker, at this point, we have to eliminate one of our contestants. Uh -oh. You already know who we're gonna. You already know who the winner is. I need to eliminate one person right now. Um, I have an idea of of who it is. It's uh, it's tough, but I think I have the. I think I picked the right choice as of right now. So, the person who I eliminate. And you have to tell me, Rocker, if I did the right, if I made the right decision, is J Bomb. Yeah. That, based based on round one, yep. Love you guys. Love you, J Bomb. You, Thank Jay you so Bob. much for participating in the show. Love you, J Bomb. I hate that part. I hate that part, but I'm I'm uh, love you, J Bomb. Thank you so much. All no. right. All right. So round one, that concludes round one. So now we're going into round two, asking another set of questions. And, um, and then we will all, you guys will all exit the box. And at that point, um, I will make my final decision as well as pull the audience and see what they, who they think is the best match for you based on compatibility. All right, so let's go through the last question. Uh, Rocker. All right. If you could work any profession, not necessarily the one you're in, what would it be? Is that me? Yes, please. I guess you're first. Um, I would definitely, my job profession of choice would be like a trophy wife. I want to be home <laughs> for you at all times. <laughs> like, welcome home. Let's go out to dinner. I will see you in the pool afterwards. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Um, in all no, in all actuality, I love what I do. I actually have my own business. I do private elderly care. I love it. Um, but yeah, trophy wife would be fun too. Excellent. Okay, toxic. I would um, love to work with animals. So I I would live outside the city somewhere. I would rescue every dog and cat I could get my hands on and every donkey and every cow and every, and, and I would have a lot of animals. So I would love to, um, I would love to do that with work with animals that, that maybe people couldn't keep for some reason or just stray animals. That's very nice. Okay. And Jeep girl, uh, what is your question? My question. All right, I already feel the connection, like there's a spark. I don't know if you guys feel it through the phone, but there's a spark. So when we get married, are you very traditional? Do you want to do the church wedding? Um, do you just want to hightail it to Vegas and get married by Elvis? You like want to do a beach thing, nice little Speedo? Because I can see you rocking the Speedo. Like what, what do you prefer? Well, I, I do have the Borat bathing suit. But no, I'm I'm very traditional. <laughs> um, it, it would definitely be a, a church wedding with a, a huge reception afterwards. I love it. Very nice. Okay, Rocker. What three things can you not live without in your life besides toxic candy? <laughs> well, yeah, you count as one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my two dogs I'll, I'll count them as one because um, I could just take the easy way out and be like yeah one dog one one dog two <laughs> um, and I guess the third thing I couldn't live without is uh, friends very nice yeah agreed okay um okay so i just want to say again hello everyone and welcome to plenty fishes making a match i'm your host miss cw there are two rounds of questions and the final conclusion to this game we will get closer to understanding the compatibility based on our contestant um on, and the daters on their responses at the end of the second round we will pull the viewers and get their opinion and choice ultimately though it is my my role to make the perfect match can i do that as a featured show please refrain from using profanity and negative comments as a viewer or as a contestant 
Anyone who is in the BOSC or, or myself were unable to focus our attention or comments on the comments, questions, or thank you for the gifts that are received. If you would like to be a participant in a future show, please add my Instagram, which can be found in my profile for scheduling. This is a weekly featured show every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lastly, please favor our top three gifters and the game participants, including myself, and show them your support. Thank you. All right. I, looking, we have more time. So I say, sorry? I didn't get to answer my second question for myself. Yes. And I was going to say that as well. So, so, the, so just to remind everybody, the, the question was, if you could work any profession, what would it be? And honestly, like, I love what I do, and I, I don't think I want to do anything else. I'm a programmer. I sit and I just type. They pay me to type code all day, and it's awesome. Um, toxics answer with the animals. Part of my five-year plan, I just want to buy a bunch of land. I want to build a house and keep a ton of animals dogs goats sheeps whatever <laughs> i, I want to have a lot of animals nice nice okay you guys there is a, there is plenty more time so we can ask another question Lamas. okay <laughs> all right so let, let's get a little silly so <laughs> we're we're out at the club and a mutual friend of ours one of my guy friends starts hitting on you what do you do and do you tell me okay jeep girl that's an easy one for me i would be so preoccupied with you i wouldn't be able to keep my hands off of you my lips would be locked he he would he wouldn't even find the time to get me alone to flirt with me i'm very Ooh. all joking aside i'm very um my man is the only one in the room. Like, you're good, rocker. Nice. Good answer. It <laughs> was very nice. Hold on. Was that your friend, rocker? Yeah. Yeah, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna tell me <laughs> <laughs> wow that was very nice okay so toxic so, oh are you so, done jeep girl answering i'm sorry yes thank you okay. sorry i would be i would be more questioning your choice of friends because they're hitting on your girl come on <laughs> so but in saying and that not I even gonna lie it's happened i it's it is a question but um i i totally agree with jeep girl like although it's flattering being hit hit on by somebody else when i'm with my guy i'm with my guy it don't matter you know one and done caring is not sharing over here <laughs> and that's it <laughs> all right good answer very good <laughs> all right so do you guys the jeep uh do you have a question <laughs> All right, my question. I am very family oriented. I like to visit my family every weekend. Um, are you, would you be interested? Because I need a guy who wants to get to know my family. Once you're with me, it's not just me, it's my whole family. Like my whole family needs to know you, they need to like you, they need to love you because you're us now, you know what I mean? So how family oriented are you? Other people's families love it. I, I have a blast and have always gotten along with everybody's families, friends, relationships, whatever. Just don't hit on my mom. She's pretty. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sadly, I, I really, uh, honestly, I don't have any family left. It's, it's just my mom left. We're, we're, we're very welcoming. Rucker, I have a quick question for you. Are you an only no. child? No. No, okay. I, I lost my brother to heroin. Okay, um, I'm sorry. In 2021. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry it's to okay. hear that. It happens. Yeah, but I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, 
Toxic. Um, what is the cheesiest love song that you know all the words to? Oh, mm. oh boy, that's a tough one. Good questions. Love it. That I know all the words to. I'm I'm really drawing a blank on this. While you're have thinking, have to be something by Journey. Something by Journey, for yeah. sure. I mean, I, it's not really a love song, but uh, I I'm I'm drawing a blank on titles so. though. Okay. Anything anything eighties, I probably know all the lyrics to, and can name it in two notes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take a moment again to plug for the show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Plenty of Fishes Making a Match. I'm your host, Miss CW. There are two rounds of questions and the final conclusion to the game. We'll get closer to understanding the compatibility from our contestants to the daters based on their responses. At the end of the second round, which is the round we are in now, we will pull, pull the viewers to get their opinion and um, their choice. And ultimately, though, it is my role to make the perfect match, and can I do that? So as a featured show, please refrain again from using profanity and negative comments as a viewer or as a participant in the show. Anyone who is in the box or myself, we may be unable to focus our attention on the comments, the questions, or the gifts that are received. If you want to participate in, my, in this future show, please message me via my Instagram, which can be found in my profile for scheduling. This is a weekly featured show every Sunday, starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lastly, please favorite my gifters, the top three gifters, and the game participants, including myself, and show them your support. Okay, so what are we going to do now? I still, we still have extra time. I think I went a little too fast in round one. I should have went a little slower there. So I have another I question. So let's do another question. Let's do another question. We got time. What do you have for us? So, so, uh, we're going to do, we're going to, she's been eliminated. We're going I'm, to do another question. We're in round two now, Tim. We are in round two. So this is between Toxic and Jeep Girl. Which one of the two is most compatible with Rocker and Jay? This is going to ask one more question to each other. All right. So, so. Uh, I got a silly one. So if you could be a circus performer, which act would you be? <laughs> okay. Cheap girl. Um, I would definitely be like one of the trapeze artists, you know, getting very flexible, jumping around. <laughs> I gotta get ready for you, Rocker. I can tell you're a wild one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I just want you to know that. Okay. Taxi. I would definitely fun, fun be fact, I have oh. actually done the trapeze. Oh, I have bet you, you. I yes, bet I you had you naughty boy. <laughs> and it no, I don't mean in the bedroom. I mean like literally like a full on trapeze. <laughs> Wow, incredible. <laughs> okay. Okay, Toxic. Um, in the circus, wow. <laughs> maybe the maybe the lion tamer? Maybe the lion tamer so I could just woo rope you in and pull you, you in. And... You think you could tame me? No, hell no, but I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of drinks in, we should be okay. Toxic be on her way. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now it's the girl, the ladies, to ask you a question. So, uh, girl. Hmm. Hmm. My question: What is like physically? What attracts you most to a woman? Nice. Good question. And you physically? cannot say anything personality-wise. We're not going there. Yeah, no. I mean, at this age, it's you know, it's it's gone past physical. But um, hair and eyes are like what I initially see, and then obviously boobs. But 
hair for some reason is is a big thing. Love that. Let me let me ask you this, Rocker. Does it matter if it's long or short? Is like it, if she looks oh, good, no, like her I, hair looks good. Does it matter if it's long or short? Good question. I am not at all attracted to short hair, at all. At all. <laughs> okay. All right. Just just wondering. Okay. All right. Uh, toxic. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is hard. This is really hard. Well, no, I just I, I just read a comment. Yeah, so did I. I think we all just saw that. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> who would be when we're together, who would be your celebrity crush? Because I might give you a hall pass. Ooh. I'm old and I'm staying age appropriate. My hall pass celebrity crush is Jennifer Aniston. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you guys, this is really hard. I, I, I'm having a little bit of a hard time here picking who I think is most you're most compatible with. But I think I'm going. I, I think I'm leaning towards. I, I'm leaning towards one one side definitely. I'm feeling some vibes there. Definitely some compatibility vibes. All right, so I'm looking at the time. It's still, we still have more time. And I'm going to do the plug one more time for the show. So hello everyone and welcome to Making a Match with CW. There are two rounds of questions. We are now in the second round. We'll get closer to understanding the compatibility from the contestants to the from our contestant to his daters based on their responses at the end of the second round which i'm sorry at the end yeah at the end of this round we're going to take a poll and you guys can vote and give me your feedback on who you think is rocker most compatible with but it is my job ultimately to make that match for him and can i do that if you would like to participate in a future show please add my instagram which can be found in my profile and this is a weekly featured show every Sunday starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please favorite my top three gifters as well as the game participants, including myself, and show them your support. Okay, so guys, this is round two. We still have a little bit more time, so I say let's go for one more question. And oh, then I... at that time, I'll, pull, I'll take the poll from, the, um, from our viewers, and I'll make my ultimate decision of who I think you're most compatible with. And then Rocker, you'll come back into the box after that point and you're gonna let me know if I made the right match, okay? All righty. All right, so let's ask one more, one more round of questions. All right, this'll, uh, this'll help me clarify things. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? So I just got my passport last summer. I have not used it yet. Um, I can't wait to travel the world. I want to experience different cultures. Just go everywhere. I love the beach. I love warm locations. Um, Bora Bora, Turks and Caicos, Hawaii. Um, Italy might be really fun. passport for Hawaii. <laughs> Italy might be really fun, but I know there's a lot of people. I like privacy, you know, um, trying to think of where else I would like to go. Definitely tropical areas all the way. Do you have like awesome. a, a number one spot, like somewhere that I got to go there before I die? Rio de Janeiro would be nice, I think. All right. All right. That looks like a, a real happening spot. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, G. Uh, sorry, Candy. <laughs> Thank you, G. Um, besides going to New Jersey, where I've never been, whoa, I would fly and come get you and pick you up on the way to Bali. To Bali? Mm-hmm. Mm. And what, what is, what draws you to that? Um, I've just seen pictures. The water looks amazing. The beaches look amazing. 
it's just, it looks secluded. It looks romantic. Um, and I'm a, a hot weather vacation girl. I'm not going to Alaska anytime quick. <laughs> okay. And now I've heard Alaskan cruises are really nice, but um, I would, I would prefer the beach, a drink in my hand, some music, some live music on the beach. Definitely. But I am a traveler. Like I do, I do travel, have passport, will travel. That's awesome. Rucker, I have a question for you. Okay. Just a quick, just a very quick question. I might, I try to just stick with yes and no. Do you like fishing? Um, when I had my own boat, I, I did a lot of fishing, but since I, I got rid of my boat, I don't anymore. But I, right. I used to do, um, do a lot of fluking and, and bluefish. Oh, okay. Wow, you've done a lot of things. I was just curious. Do you right. ladies like fishing? Do you ladies like fishing? So I am not a morning person, but I love catfishing. You do at night. I love that. It's such a rush. If you guys have never catfished, it is such a rush when you catch one and you reel it in. You feel like you're reeling in a shark or something. <laughs> and then you pull up this like tiny little thing. Okay. Wait, so you, um, you don't yeah. you don't noodle for your catfish where you go in and you go in like some underwater mud hole and pull it out with your hand? I prefer to keep all my hands and fingers. When I first learned about noodling, I was like, that could be so fun. And then you find out not only, it's not just catfish in there. There is snapping turtles in there. There is all types of stuff that could chomp your fingers off. Like, I need all my fingers so I can hold, hold and touch you. You know that. That's cute. <laughs> do you like, so, uh, do you like fishing, Toxic? I, li I like fishing. I like it because it's very calming and very serene fishing. I don't like beating the fish on the, on the head, so I will not do that. But I also tried ice fishing once. And let me tell you, that is a crazy way to fish. As you're looking at this hole, like that's this big, standing on this ice, and like, and then something, <laughs> this fish comes out of this hole, and the fish is twice the size of the hole. I'm like, what is going on here? That's cool. I was just very curious. Uh, I was curious it's too it. easy. I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> that was very cute. So I, I really was along the same idea. lines of fishing, how do you feel about camping? I do what? have an, R, an RV and I like to go camping. Oh, very I good. Love so it's not, it's not primitive. You're not in a tent on the ground. It's a hotel on wheels, but you're still out in the woods. You, you, you know, you're, you're cooking on the grill and, you know, chopping up sticks and stupid stuff. For me, I love camping. I actually have a tent, like real camping, tent, air mattress, the iron skillet, like the iron. I love tent camping. I love hiking. I'm very outdoorsy. Like as long as my lashes can stay dry, like we're good. Let me throw my hair up in a ponytail. Let's go hike. Let's. <laughs> you know, knock some boots over a tree, like it'll be fun. Awesome. How about you, Toxic? Uh, toxic prefers glamping to camping. <laughs> so glamping? You're, not, you're not glamping. You're not going to find me on the dirt on an air mattress, usually in a tent. If I have some amenities, I'm good. But tenting, no. Glamping, <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I, I, I love the camping, the whole spirit of it, but nope, I got to have my air conditioning. <laughs> Good answers. I think okay, that also depends where you go camping and what time of year, because yeah. I don't like waking up melting. Do you know what I mean? Right. So as long as it's nice and cool, I can wake up and be nice and cool. Agreed. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go camping in the middle of the summer. I also won't camp where there's sand. As much as I love the beach, I'm not trying to be all sandy and can't handle that. Well, I well, actually I camp as late as December. Oh my well, God. Cold, have, I've camped in the snow. Right? But the you RV, it's got to be a camper. So you got to snuggle. But you have everything accessible in your camper. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's good. It's, you guys, you know, it's, it's the, the desolation and, you know, the 
like the environment, you know, lots of like hiking around and just kind of exploring in the middle of the woods. There's, there's really nothing around. Right. Lord no, no internet. Your, your, your phones, some places, your phone doesn't even have a signal. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do the, uh, the last plug for the show. Well, actually I'll do it twice, but Okay, so everyone, hello, welcome to Plenty of Fishes Making a Match. I'm your host, Misty W. There are two rounds. We are now in the second round, actually concluding with our second round. And we're going uh, to make our final conclusion of who is most compatible with Rocker and Jay. At the, um, we will poll the viewers and get your opinion as well. But ultimately, it's my role to make the perfect match, and can I do that? As a featured show, please refrain from using profanity and any, any negative comments as a viewer or as a participant of the show. Anyone who is in the box, we are unable to focus our direct attention on comments, questions, or thank you for gifts that are received during the broadcast. If you want to participate in a future show, please message me via my Instagram, which can be found in my profile for scheduling. This is a weekly featured show every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please favorite the top three gifters and our game participants, including myself, and show them your support. So now that we have concluded round two, <laughs> now that we have concluded round two, it is time for all of you to exit the box. And this is how it's going to work. So all of you will just want all of you will exit the box, and then we're going to take the poll. The la last for last last um, Sunday when I took the poll, there seemed to be a problem with it coming up on the screen. So if any of you are here to make the decision whether it's Jeep Girl or Toxic Candy, and you can't see it on the screen, I ask that you please exit the stream and then come back in, and it should be there for you to make your final um, your vote as the viewers. So at this time, I ask Toxic Jeep and Rocker NJ to exit the boxes. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's awesome having you. And um, I will call you back, Rocker, after the viewers make their choice. I actually wrote my decision of which of the two that you are most compatible with. And I'm going to see if I am right. In the meantime, we're going to take the poll and see what the audience says. All right. Okay. It's almost in. All right. Okay, the poll is now out there. Again, if you cannot see the poll, if you cannot see the poll, I ask you to exit and come back in. Wow. Okay, very interesting. Wow, look at you guys go. Okay. Do you can all of you see the poll on the screen? If you cannot see, if you cannot see the poll on the screen, I ask you exit and then come back. You got it, you can see it. All right. So my audience says that it's Jeep Girl. 60, I see 60, what is that? 60, 50, oh, it keeps moving. Okay, you guys are making more, more, more votes that are coming in. Okay, it's, a, it's got a minute and a half on the poll. So I'll let it run out and then, and then we'll see our final results. Toxic or Jeep Girl. This is not the final, uh, naturally the final um, answer of, um, of what he's going to pick. This is just your opinion. Based on my opinion, based on what I saw, um, I made my choice. But I'm very curious what you guys think. So that's why this is not the official opinion. No, it will be mine. Okay, so through my screen, the most compatible from my audience is Jeep Girl. Jeep Girl. All right. So I'm only going by what I see. Same with me. Same with me. 
but there was some there was something that was said that really just caught my attention and i don't know maybe i'm making making a wrong thing i don't know i feel it was like something really strong it was a strong connection it's something that i saw that it's a daily thing and i thought mm, okay so this will be interesting that one of the one of them had said um so new york rocker or new yeah rocker if you could come back new jersey i'm sorry i said new york new jersey rocker if you could come back into the box all right okay so all right saw what the audience thought is most compatible with jeep girl and i like to know my answer is written down and i like to know was the audience correct? Nope. They got it Hot they damn got diggity dog, CW made another match. <laughs> Hot yeah. It, it, was the, it was all about the it was all about the animals. I will tell you why I picked Toxic Candy. I picked Same reason, Toxic I bet. Candy. I I picked her right. I picked her with different answers and questions that were being being thrown out there, and I picked her because. She had said that she loved animals. You had also yep. said that you had loved animals. And I, Jeep Girl might have said a little bit about that too, but Toxic was very, very on it all. The, like, I love, that was her passion. Do you remember? Yep. She yeah, that, said that, that, that the animals were her passion, and that really stuck with me. And I thought for a day in, day out kind of, you know, to be with, I thought she was the most compatible for you. Yep, that's that's my, hey, if you had a million dollars, what would you do? And I'd be like, I would just have a lot of land and a lot of animals. Well, that's awesome. I made the right match. I'm, I'm so happy. That was pretty cool. Did you like that? Did yeah, you like fun. the show? I had a blast. You liked it? Did you have a yeah. good time? Excellent. Yeah. And Anybody that's it's thinking really of stepping up and doing it, it's not scary. Have, just jump in and have fun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool, isn't it? I yeah. thought I was very happy um, how it all worked out. So if you're just coming in, welcome to Plenty of Fishes Make a Match. I'm your host, Miss CW. We actually finished our game as of right now, but there were two rounds of questions that we asked, and then we got closer to understanding the compatibility from the contestant, which is Rocker and Jay to the daters based on their responses. At the end Ooh. and of the final round, we took a poll. I asked you as the audience who you thought he was best compatible with, and the audience had picked Jeep Girl. But CW thought that Toxic was a better match for him based on the animal question. I really zoomed, I, I was like, wow, that's a really, that, would, that, that just stepped up for me, so that's why I picked Toxic and I was right. So that is pretty cool. So that is how this game works every Friday, uh, excuse me, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my live stream. So thank you so much for all of you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for participating in the show. I'd like to thank all the viewers and thank you for all the gifts as well. It was a pleasure having all of you here. And um, till next week. If I can do this again, <laughs> thank you so much for the favor. If I can do this again, tune in next Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's our little animal. Toxic made the match. We made the match. Let's see if CW once again can make another match. So far, I am two for two. Two for two. Let's see if next week I can do it again. Again, I thank all of you for being here. Rocker, thank you so very thank much. You. Toxic, Candy, uh, to Jeep Girl, and also to J-Bomb. Thank you guys again for participating in the game. I look forward to seeing you guys all next week at 5 o'clock. Thanks again for being here. And let's see if I can make another match. See you next week. See you. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here.